One of the things that I said from the beginning that I was not going to compromise is this is next to integrity, guys. I simply refuse to compromise on this. Hey everyone, welcome to It's All Grady. I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome to our homestead. If you guys don't already know, we're a small family that gave up big city life to start our homestead in rural America. Part of building our homestead is building our house. Exactly. And if we're not building our house, guys, we're building our farm. Who knows what we're doing? What? Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning early. It's like barely after six. But we got to get started early on... Uh, on these days because it is hot. Every day seems to be getting a little bit hotter. Today's the hottest day, they say. For this week, it's like 94 today. So Gage and I are gonna get after moving some of these chicken coops so that we can get them separated a little bit. We're gonna get them over here in Baby Cakes' garden since Gage, Gage already got it cleaned up for us. And we're gonna try to get after this stuff, guys, before it gets too hot. All right then. then sweet the easy part's done So with all the things that we have to do today, um, we wanna get them done as early as possible because today is supposed to be the hottest day of the week. And yesterday was crazy, you guys. It was so hot. We tried to hook up an air conditioner only to find out in the end, we don't even have that kind of plug. Here we are early in the morning trying to get this done. These guys are about to move this big heavy coop. So it's a good thing that we're doing it now and not when it's hot. All right, grab your chain. Oh, it's coming off. I'll push them back here if you lift. Just lift it up. Wait, come, come, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, be careful, good job.
All right, guys. Well, this isn't exactly what I wanted to do right now, but things are heating up. I've got a nice clean shot, man, and I'm gonna go for it. I'm pretty confident that even though this is not necessarily what I need to be doing right at the moment, it's going to work out perfectly for me later. When the storm hits and the power goes out, stay powered, stay safe. Anytime, anywhere. Jackery, power when it matters most. All right guys, so when Jackery reached out to us, we were very excited because we just know that this equipment is going to fit our life very well, especially after traveling and being traumatized by the carnage that we've seen created by the recent storms. We know that we are not exempt from this and we want to be prepared and Jackery wants us to be prepared as well. It's called the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus. What we're going to offer you with this piece of equipment is a big bang, three thousand watts you're gonna be able to pump out of this thing just the way it is guys okay and what a sweet piece of equipment that is they made that possible by adding a 3,000 watt inverter into this piece of equipment guys so you can have a smaller battery that has less storage but be able to put out that big power that's required guys to be able to operate a lot of the things that we have in our house you know our refrigerators and our stoves and our microwaves these things draw a lot of power and just because the power can't be restored from the pole doesn't mean our lives have to stop and we have to suffer guys let's break down this jackery explorer 2000 plus it comes out with all the things that we expect it has your proverbial rv plugs this is also the port that we will be using when we attach this unit to our house right because our manual transfer switch has the opposing side to this plug it is a 30 amper guys we're going to be able to run quite a bit off of this it also comes with four of your standard receptacles guys these are 20 amp plugs you're going to be able to plug anything else that has this style plug into it and be able to power the things that you need when you need it it also has all of our usb ports guys so it's got some of these usb a 18 watt ports guys so so we could charge our phones and stuff like that or how about these USB C ports these things put out a little bit more power it's a hundred watts maybe you're charging up your drone who knows but some of those things require a little more juice now you want to pay attention to what you're plugging in because you can also damage it if you're not paying attention and then of course guys on the front we also have what would be considered the proverbial cigarette lighter plug these are auxiliary power plugs so anything that you could plug into your vehicle this way you can plug into the front of this thing and power it up just the same that is a 12 volt 10 amp plug guys all right i think that's pretty much the front of this thing before we started this conversation i took the opportunity to plug in the the big massive power plug that joins the battery to the unit this is the backup battery guys this is the battery pack 2000 plus it is in combination with this unit here and it offers up all the juice we need we're going to turn this unit on together guys right here right now hit this power button right here guys you ready for this pretty simple design guys on one side of the screen it shows you the input the wattage so if we are bringing power into this unit you're going to look to that side of the screen you're going to see what's going on on the opposing side of the screen guys is the output it's going to let us know what kind of output we have going on if you want to turn on the usb guys right here you just click that little button bam right there it is output all right guys so we'll shut that off real quick, right? If you wanted to turn this side on, guys, right here, this is all your AC plugs. Bam, it's on. Simple, easy peasy, guys. You can also do this from the comforts of your reclining chair while using your phone. Jackery's simple to use app. So let's talk about Jackery's expandability. Okay, this one here might just be like, it's going to surprise you probably as much as it surprised me. 
you can get this battery pack 2000 plus and that adds quite a bit of power to it a lot of storage which is the biggest thing about these units because we can make all the energy in the world but we have to be able to store it and jackery's got the plan with their battery pack 2000 plus they're adding all that extra storage and we don't want you just to be able to power up just a couple of things guys you want to power it up more stack another battery on there bam you got two three four five batteries you can stack on this one unit guys and you can pump out some massive juice and you can store some massive juice okay and that isn't even the end of it. You want to double that baby up, you can run these two in series. Now you're, you've are you gone from 120 to 240 and you could put out 6,000 watts. With Jackery's quiet charging mode, you will not notice this thing stacked up into the side and it's also not heard. That is sweet, guys. And Jackery also comes with a fast charging capability, guys. You can get this thing charged up to maximum capacity within hours. In short, this is a unit that I would recommend. If you guys are interested in being energy independent, this is one way that we can contribute. And it's a good way. It's also a nice backup to your backup. If you know what I'm talking about, you can never be too prepared, guys. And Jackery agrees with that. They say that that we can expand on it and they also have other products to offer so make sure you're checking out jackery we're gonna leave all the pertinent information and links in the description down below guys make sure you're going over to check out jackery site check out the jackery Explorer 2000 plus or any of their other products that may fit your life guys these things I truly believe fit into all, all of our lives somewhere because we do not need to be without power when the power goes out. Quick shout out to Keith and Mickey over there, a building with Keith and Mickey's. Hooked us up with this 10-2 wire, guys. This is going to work perfect. Bang, bang, bang! I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to cut it. I really hate to cut it. I'm actually not gonna cut it. I was just talking stupid for a minute. You know what I mean? That's just me getting crazy. It took me three towns to get the stuff that I needed to do this. All right, man, one of the things that I said from the beginning that I was not gonna compromise this. This is next to integrity, guys. I simply refuse to compromise on this. Words, then when I screw it in, it pushes the wire out and that loop doesn't work very good anymore. I would want to draw that wire into it rather than push it out. Okay.
that's that part. All I gotta do now is the panel. You know what I mean? This is something that I said I was not gonna go without. I was not gonna do this. Which brings me to the next thing I said I wasn't gonna do. And that's solar power, man. And there's a reason for it. And that's stuff like this. But I've since changed my mind. Probably won't die from that. What? Midnight electrical? <sighs> Having a hard time staying awake, guys. So far, so good. You ready for this? Yeah, let's try it out. Let's try it, man. Shoot, what's the worst that could happen? Well, let's not worry about what the, oh. what the worst could happen. <laughs> let's not think about the worst. Let's not think about the worst. So one of the things I guaranteed I was not gonna go without is air condition. And we've been going a couple of days now. It's been hotter in here than it is outside. And trying to sleep in 80 plus degrees in the house is too much and it really does start to mess with you everywhere. Your sleep, your everything, right? And that was why I was so gung-ho about having power wherever we move. We had to have electricity because I love air conditioning, right? And so does everybody else that likes air conditioning, right? So we need that. So here we are, man. I bought an air conditioner and I couldn't use it, man. Cause it's got this Funkalunka plug. Here we go, I hooked up that Funkalunka plug. Here we go, ready? A little bit scared, but so far so good. F2, fan, let's find a mode. Let's go right to air condition. Let's get that temperature down as much as we can get it down. Sixty fan speed two. So it's on high. So we bought this over two years ago. Almost three years ago. Almost three years ago, and right now we can't find the remote for it. But it is just—I'm so glad we have it because it has been hot in here. And and guess what? It has a heater. Oh, it has a heater too. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's working. Now, I really want to hear this thing kick on. Cause it's blowing cool air, but it should like bog down and start blowing super cold air at some point in time. Anyways, this will blow cool air from this side and we can blow cool air from that side for now. So some might be wondering <clears throat> if you noticed, I left all my wire up there in a big old spool. And that's because wire is so expensive these days, guys, that I can't just be willy-nilly and just run it wherever I want and chop it up. So if this does not cool down enough over there, then we're moving this, <laughs> right? Plus, this is eventually going to go upstairs. So I can't just keep cutting up that wire like that. And that's just not good. So I'll leave it in a full spool for now. And we'll make sure that it's going to work right here. Yeah? That's what it's about, guys. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm more the frank out. You know what I mean? I can't. I feel cold air blowing in right now. You feel that cold air blowing in? Feel good? Feels good. Feels good. All right. So it has been a crazy few days. I don't know, a week, whatever. But right now, we are cash, and we're going to get back, back to you guys tomorrow. 10 o'clock, guys. I didn't even know that 10 o'clock existed. <laughs> I thought it went from 8 o'clock to 3.30 in the morning. All right, you guys. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, see you in the morning. 
Woo, we got air. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. It feels so good. All right, guys, good night. All right, take two. We're heading to town to get materials. This time, I think we're gonna get what we need. Yay, it's Monday. Hardware store should be open. Monday through Friday, man. You want your lumber? You'll be here Monday through Friday. Easy peasy. Bet she don't get in the truck. Bet she tries to go to the mailbox first. Well, I told you guys. How predictable. How predictable. Not a steal. When you, uh, when you watch that video of that recording right here. Oh, uh -huh, you're pointing the camera up at the sky and not at me? No. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I was pointing it at you and I was like, all right, guys, bet you she walks right past the door and goes to that mailbox. <laughs> and guess what you did? Walked right past the door and went right to that mailbox. How did you know? I don't normally do stuff like that. Baby, baby cakes, because I know. If you didn't think I know, you'll know when you watch the, the playback. We waiting for something in the mail, y'all. going to get everything of is the stuff that we can't get locally which is the hardwares and I'll probably just get the lumber that I know I'm going to really hate to even buy the lumber and I don't know how much I'm going to need I guess we can figure some of it out because we cut out the floor right so we can utilize some of that stuff but I may want to may want to add a little extra in the full length piece to stick in that whole thing up. Even though I don't think we really need it because it's sitting on columns now. It's going to be sitting. Anyways, we're going to get exactly what we need to be able to progress that way. Yeah. Get what we need to get started. Seems like every time, man, we end up taking a, the wrong turn. It's a couple of times usually that means something in the road or something going on up ahead sometimes it's a cop but it looks like something's going on up here so stand traffic standing still yeah as we're coming into town I just wonder if there's a
we are literally 1.8 miles from our turn and we're stuck. It says we should get to our place in 13 minutes, but I don't think that's going to happen. camera and I figured it out. Oh, you can see through them. What happened to shoes, man? Where's the rest of the shoes? You know what I mean? What do they do with the rest of the shoes that they're not giving me when they sell it to me? These things feel like, like flip-flops. I was looking to belong when I already found my 